Okay, great. So I'm here in Cuba. Well, actually, it's in London, but we're in a Cuban restaurant. I'm here with my friend Francis White, and um, we actually wanted to just talk about this new uh, LG G5, the first modular smartphone in the world. And uh, I just wanted to talk to you, Francis, um, because I think this has potential uh, in digital health implications for sensors. But you know, t let's take a look at this, right? So I've basically ins I've already inserted this. Um, this, extra, this new CAM Plus module here. But in terms of, if we think about for ordinary consumers, you know, I have to take it out like this. This is the camera from the phone, this yellow one here. You can see here the modular aspect. Now, to take it out, I have to do... Okay, great. Cheers. So now, to take it out, uh, you have to like pull it in an arc-like fashion. So it sounds almost like it's breaking. Like Francis, what do you think there? Is that going to be, do you think people are going to be, that is going to break easily? Like you're having to swap the battery in and out with those plastic connectors? I think it certainly it does depend on how often you're going to have to do this because it certainly feels. Yes. Uh, the green, uh, that green is, is his. Thank you. That's awesome. Thank you. Um, it does concern me because it does feel really tough to get out. To you just put, pull it off in an R. Um, and I think one of the things to consider is that digital health is often for people a little bit older, a little bit maybe infirm, and finding the button to locate to draw this off was quite tricky. I do like the idea though um, of being able to modularize health kit. Healthcare. So do you think like for example my crazy my crazy scenario that I'm thinking of when I play around with this is that in the future let's just say modular smartphones take off, consumers start buying them, other manufacturers bring them out. You go to the doctor, he di he or she diagnoses you with a long term condition that says, right, we want to give you a sensor to track, you know, you have a Samsung LG Apple modular, okay, here's a sensor, so there's no need for the NHS or the consumer to buy a whole new phone, yeah. you basically just get prescribed a module with that sensor and it's going to help you record information about your condition, for example. And I think that makes a lot of sense. I think the, the concerns, though, from manufacturers are that phones keep changing size and shape and to invest in a module that's bespoke to a particular brand or company does limit your access to market. And one of the criticisms that we've uh, faced in our early days at LiveBoard is that does everybody have this phone? Can everybody access this technology? And uh, you, you know, healthcare is something that you want to be fairly universal, or as universal as possible, particularly for those that have the disease state that you're looking yeah. into, or the diagnostic that you're looking at. So that's my, I suppose, big concern. I love the idea. Um, but I mean, again, there's practicalities, right? So if we put the phone back, if you put it back in, right, just to um, slot that back in. Right, see this case that I just bought for my LG G5. So if you put, if you try and put that with the mod new module back in the case. Yeah, clearly that's... That 20 pound case that I bought doesn't fit. So You'd have to try and do it upside down or something. Well, it doesn't fit at all. So then yeah. I'd need a new case, yeah. the additional for, for expense. So. Um, yeah, and the, the thing is, when you replace your phone in a year, two years time, can you be sure that that will fit? Because yeah. so. um, a healthcare technology piece, you... Oh, it's it's food uh, right. Falafel. Falafel here, yes. yes thank you. Yeah. Great, thank you. I mean, you're going through regulators, you're going through the FDA and, and the, in the US, and uh, you know you want that thing to last a little bit longer than the average life cycle of a phone, I think. Um, I mean, it's something that manufacturers have faced before, but the old iPhone 4 slot built for medical technology designed for that, and then it, it sort of disappeared um, fairly quickly. So, I love the idea, because you can have a regulated medical device yeah. and using all the power of the smartphone but I think the execution of it probably let it down yeah okay well it's the first one in the world so you'd expect that it wouldn't be you know it would have a few issues to begin with but uh, so it'll be interesting let's see where it goes Francis yeah if they could get this to be a standard fit yeah and get the industry to adopt yeah. I think then we've got a lot more hope for it yeah a bit like charging cables and standard exactly. USB so yeah. if you have standard modular connectors you know, you might have a module from Samsung Health, 
but you use it with your modular iPhone or your modular... Exactly, LG. because we know that the smartphone becomes a very personal tool. Yeah. And, uh, you know, people want to stick with the brands that they know and enjoy, um, and with the apps that they dispose to them. So this allows that to happen. Cool. Okay. Thanks, Thanks Francis. Thanks, Thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.